Hi, my name is Kylie Stoker, and I have been working with Eating Disorder Takes Action for a few years now. Today's topic is going to be focused on the different types of eating disorders. I understand that this topic is hard for certain individuals to listen to. However, I want to be able to help someone out who is in need of guidance or needs help taking that extra step in the right direction. According to the National Association of Anorexia Nervosa and Associate Disorders, 30 million people are suffering from an eating disorder. There are many types, but the most common ones consist of anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating. Anorexia is when people starve themselves because they are fearful of gaining weight, no matter how much weight they have lost or underweight they are. They still believe they aren't thin enough. Bulimia involves purging. Purging usually means self-induced vomiting, laxatives, medication, or excessive exercise for an individual because they don't believe they quote-unquote fit the image they need to. Binge eating involves people overeating in a short period of time, which results in them gaining a lot more weight than they should. Do you know someone who is struggling with an eating disorder? A better question might be, how do you know someone is struggling with an eating disorder? And how do I know they need help? Here are some warning signs that you can watch for that should raise a red flag. These signs may seem a lot easier for you to spot than someone with an eating disorder. Examples include for anorexia and bulimia of avoiding food, excessive exercise, low amounts of calories, diets, and laxatives. Examples of binge eating include weight gain and overeating their calories. I have personally struggled with an eating disorder, not to the extent of others. However, I was working out excessively and was constantly getting on the scale to weigh myself. I wasn't happy with the way I was looking and I would count every calorie. I became very unhappy from doing so. I know what others are going through and I want to be able to reach someone in this podcast going through something similar. If you see someone is struggling with these signs, it's important to speak up. It's important to talk to them. You have to be careful on the way you talk to them and the wording that you use. So how do you bring it up? How do you talk to someone who is struggling with an eating disorder? How do you do so without hurting their feelings or making them feel attacked? First and foremost, pick a good time. Choose a time when you and the person can be in a private room without any distractions. Explain your concern, don't lecture them, and don't criticize them. Just let them know that you love them and you are here to help. Most of the time, people who have eating disorders will deny it. They will call you crazy, that's just because they don't want to accept it. Don't take the rejection to your help personally. Remain calm and be respectful, and most importantly, be patient and supportive. Don't give up on the person. Apart from offering your support, the most important thing for a person who is suffering with an eating disorder is to get treatment. The longer that someone goes untreated, the harder it is for the body and the riskier it is for their health. Thank you for your time and listening about eating disorders. If you need help, please seek it. Watch out for those around you.